So we've got some really cool things to do today, Jennifer. Hmm. Yeah. You got the utility sink in. Now, how, how did you get that? Does it come by, by uh, osmosis or did it come by like Amazon or something? How did it get here? Yeah, it was uh, Lowe's delivery. Lowe's delivery? Uh-huh. Oh, cool. And we did a lot of work inside the ranch and plant nursery, cleaned out the whole thing, got that area squared away and ready for the utility sink, but I still got some more things I need to do. Ah, there it is. So I need to take this. That box is pretty heavy. I didn't think that utility sink would be that heavy, but it is. It's pretty nice. I mean, yeah. I couldn't just, there wasn't a whole lot of sinks to choose from in yeah. store, so it wasn't ordered. Item. Right, yeah. I can't wait. Maybe at the end of this video, we'll unbox it a little bit. Let's check it out. Yes, we need it badly. As you can see, I'm struggling What here. are you doing, Jennifer? It's, you're going to get me wet. <laughs> Quit it. What the? I'm struggling here. You with... are struggling mightily. <laughs> what the heck's going on? Oh, my God. So we got a new utility sink in, and it's in the house. So we grabbed the dolly here. Got to go and get it. And uh, I'm going to do that before Jennifer sprays me with water. I know, you're right? You're out of control, Jennifer. So we had Lowe's deliver it for us. Made it a lot easier, you know, that way we don't have to go drive over to Lowe's in the Jeep or the truck, throw it in the back and whatever. But I almost want to say that we, we had to, to buy it online because they didn't have any decent utility sinks in stock. Decent meaning that they didn't have one that Jennifer likes. She, I think she got a fancy utility sink if I'm not mistaken. So we'll take a look, we'll see. But yeah, I could have probably just <laughs> thrown this in the back of the Jeep, you know, instead of walking a quarter of a mile with the dolly, but let me see, we'll cut through. We'll cut through this area here so we don't have to wheel it all the way down the driveway. It'll take forever. And man, it's already getting dark. Okay, late start today. And the late start was from just uh, finishing up the thumbnail for our last video, which was really, really cool. We were out, as a family, out here planting in the micro farmstead, the micro orchard. So Jennifer kind of calls it micro farmsteading, which is kind of cool. Farming, homestead, that sort of thing. But um, it's, it's kind of a neat name for what we do because we, we plant here, we take care of some animals and we try to do a lot here on the ranch. We really do. And I definitely encourage you guys to uh, plant vegetables, fruit, trees, nuts, and what, whatever on your property as well. Because I mean, if you can sustain yourself or even partially sustain yourself, that's a cool thing. Look, Troy's working the camera. Look at that, Troy's doing a great job. Good job, Troy. Let me let me get a shot of Troy. Hold on. Say hi to everybody, Troy. So look at we we gamefully employed T Roy, and uh, we got him behind the camera today. So this box is actually pretty heavy. It's not the lightest. I mean, I thought I'd just be able to grab it and go. You know, I thought that'd be like it, right? That's not the case, folks. Let's see here. All right. Get this out of here, throw it on the dolly. Okay. Let's move this dolly out of the way. Okay. Cool. There we go. So let's get this over to the ranch plant nursery. There we go. We're gonna get over there eventually, folks. So how's everything going with you guys? What kind of projects are you working on? 
or you, maybe you're not working on anything, but we definitely try to inspire you guys, motivate you just to try something, you know? Put some seeds in the ground, do something, right? Work on a DIY project, do something. Yeah, get off the couch. Oh yeah, it's funny. It doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's December at all. I believe it was like, like 77, 78 degrees today. Kind of warm, especially for December. I know you guys up in the northeast of the country experiencing a little bit of snow. It's in the 30s, I guess. But yeah, it's been a while since I've been up northeast. Look at that, Jenny's inside the, the nursery there. <laughs> Getting some work done. It's amazing. It's, it's kind of neat, right? You would never even think that when you walk up to this, these old horse stables that something beautiful would be inside. Paradise-like, right? Okay, let me get this in here. I think I'll put this utility sink right here for now. Boom. Nice, so oh, it's gonna be perfect. Like, I chose the right color. Yeah. I, I think I did a good job. And uh, we'll reveal that color to you guys in a little while uh, when I open it up. But for now, we've gotta prep the area that I'll be installing the utility sink in, you know. And Jennifer, I know she's got some, some things and stuff she wants to do here in the plant nursery. Jennifer, I keep screwing up and say, saying the plant ranch nursery. Oh. I'm losing my damn mind. Well, I always think of it as TRN, TRN. right? And the ranch network. The ranch network, but then I go the, the ranch nursery. Uh -huh. But then it's not really for kids, so then it has to be <laughs> It's a, a ranch it's a plant, plant nursery. nursery. What the? I know. What in the mame sapota is this, Jennifer? I know. That's huge. I know. you got to get a close-up on this gotta one. you got to get a close-up of this. It is fantastic. That's crazy. I know. Here, let's even get a little closer how big this wow. sucker has gotten. And That's going to be amazing. It is looking just. And, of course, the mame sapota, we've done shorts on it. But it's the plant that tastes just like pumpkin pie. Like yeah. just when you cut into it and eat it, it's just like pumpkin pie. I know. It's unbelievable. I mean, people, unless they tried it, they wouldn't even believe it. I know. It's just the most amazing little spud. Yes. It's so pretty. There we go. So I didn't bring a scissors or like things that I need. You need some scissors? I, got, I think I got some in the workshop. I also need to probably get the potatoes harvested, the last potatoes. Oh boy. So, but I, do, I don't have a knife or a scissors. I usually have one on me. I got a knife. And I think I got some scissors over next door, so. I probably, I just. Or do you want a utility knife? Uh, I'll go, I'm gonna go get some uh, tools for you. So, if you wanna hang out with your mom for a second, T, I'll go find some tools. All right, so I'm just taking this little guy. It's very tiny. I don't even know if it'll, if it'll regrow, but if it does, great. Wait. It's just gonna get a home right in there. Hold on, I gotta pickpocket you. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. There But yeah, so that's it. I am going to, I'm looking at some of the other plants in here. I've done a lot of trimming. This is my coffee plant and it's got two new really good sprouts on it. If you want to kind of get a close up of this, it's pretty neat. Like this one impressed me. I've had to do, you know, nice and green. Those are brand new sprouts. They're very happy. So I'm excited about, that's my coffee, my coffee plant. And everything here is still looking very good. It looks like my um, pawpaw. I have some pawpaw 
but they don't look so good. So, the pawpaw may be not something we grow here on the ranch. I just, I'm not sure. They, the plants here kind of tell us what they're gonna do. And based on how they flourish or they don't flourish is if we decide we want to keep growing those or not. Nothing has happened here. I put a couple of seeds in here that I thought should have kind of taken off, but this is really dry. It's probably too dry. So I'm gonna have to be very careful about how I water this but I need to just get this all nice and damp on the top here and see what happens. I don't know if I have all my stuff here though. Oh yeah, I think I do. Maybe. So again, having a sink here would be ideal since this is like difficult. Uh, you know what, I don't have Scissors. I know, right? I got a box cutter. You want me to go get the scissors at the house? No. Can... Okay. I think your knife will do just fine. Okay. Um, There's a box cutter too, in case you need that. I just I don't have everything here mm -hmm. that I need. Gotcha. So come here, Troy. I'm just going to wet this down. Not a lot, but enough that this top layer. Remember. This is my, what do I call this again? <laughs> my experiment bucket, okay? I You're always, like a mad scientist is what you I are, I know, Jennifer. I always have an experiment barrel or bucket or container, and it's exciting to see um, the growth and things that come from this, but I usually cover it with cardboard or something. So the key here for me is I try to give the, the starter seeds a feeling. You sort of want to give them the feeling of like the best environment that you can. Uh, and so it's, it's, it's fairly dry in nature, but there's moisture to it too. So I think a lot of people that start seeds, they either wet it down. This is what I did anyway. I'm not, uh, some people might do this fantastically, but for me, I either made the soil too wet or it was too dry. So there has to be this like really great environment that encourages your seeds to want to germinate and pollinate and, and blossom for you. And it's not there yet because if it was there, they would, they would start to grow. So I have to keep experimenting with these particular seeds. I might have to actually fill a, a pitcher. I'm not getting it wet enough. All right, I think I'm gonna do that. So again, not having a, a sink makes it difficult. I was just telling them that not having a sink makes it difficult. Really? Surprisingly, so it'll, though, one, it'll came, be nice. one came in the mail, got dropped off by one a truck. One got dropped off. It's exciting. Mm. Yes, it is very exciting. It's very cool. All and, right. And I think at, at the end of this video, before we sign off, we should probably open up the box and show everybody what it looks like. Oh, yes. That would be cool, right? Yes, I think yeah. they will so much appreciate seeing uh, what we picked out. Yeah. And, you know, it wasn't a huge, expensive, you know, commercialized, whatever. But I think it'll be perfect for this space. So. And I, actually, I think you got one a little bit more fancier than what I would pick out, so. Really? Yeah. I'm, well. Yeah, I think you probably did. Cause I, I was thinking the old, just plastic, 
tub. I always feel like this place, like when I'm in here, I always feel like it's sort of like a store to me. Yeah. And I mean, I grew up in that environment, right? Like my mom always had an antique store. Yeah. And she was, you know, very good and knowledgeable about it, great with people, great with uh, numbers and finance and all of that. And so, and you know, her, I, she could find a needle in a haystack, mm -hmm. that woman. And, you know, she still can do that. You know, she's a vibrant person. Yeah. And so, and I mean, you're similar to this in some ways as far as <laughs> that you can find really just the neatest deals. And you also are really able to do a lot of, um, what's the right word I'm looking for? Uh, research on things yeah. and I think that's really good. I make Google my friend sometimes. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and after a while when it comes to finding like a good buy or finding uh, an item that's maybe expensive or worth a lot of money, it's just a matter of research. You know, mm -hmm. I, I do a lot of research. So I'll, I'll literally look several products up, you know, in a day just to find, you know, if one of them has any value or not. Very nice. Yeah, dude, it's cool stuff. How you doing with the camera, T? Don't shut it off. Don't show you almost shut that thing down, Jennifer. Uh oh. All right, you're doing great. You're doing good. Okay. All right. Hey, so look at I want right it up there. Look at that. You missed it, Will. Nice. You missed it. We went and looked at the coffee. Has two new little sprouts here. As a whole, I I think that plant looks really healthy. Yes. So I'm starting to find out which plants do really well here not only in the green space, mm -hmm. but also on the property and in the dirt that we have here. So I'm, and, the, and just the um, overall like weather, like Yeah, which makes sense because at the end of the day, you want to be able to find plants that grow well where you're at. Yes. Right? You, you don't want to try to grow a coconut up in New York. Right. Outdoors. Right, right. So, you want to try to find things that work for you. Like climate friendly or something. Yeah. yeah. And then when you go to that next level where you can put a plant inside, indoors, in some sort of area, I mean, that's even better because then you can control the climate and you can maybe grow some more exotic type plants right. where you are. Yeah. And the funny thing is, these days, if you, if you do got some extra money, you know, if you're doing pretty well, then you could maybe uh, pick up one of those, those sheds the at Lowe's oh, yeah, or Home, yes. De yes. At Home Depot, and then if put you that at your, your house and then use that for your, you know, your plant nursery or whatever. Or your polycarbonate, right? You yeah. could go, okay, I'm going to uh, polycarbonate this thing out. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, a lot of options. You know? Yeah. A lot of options, Jennifer. So right now I'm just looking at my kiwi. I've got some leaves. I go through it here periodically and try to remove like anything that's dying on it um, or blackness on the leaves. Um, Cause that can spread, anything like that can be problematic. And so I even just rip off the little dead portions. And you know, it actually helps these plants, but I think they need a little bit of water right now. So I don't have a trash can in here or anything, so I'm kind of like walking in and out you whenever. Want me to bring your trash can in? Huh? It's right out here, isn't it? I, yeah, I, I don't know. Yeah, Maybe. it is. I'll get it. So I think I'm just going to use this. Oh yeah, my pink cans over there to fill these up a little bit. I need to do any of these smaller potted plants. Right now, I'm just focusing on my. This is my kiwi. There you go. Uh, my kiwi pollinator um, and and I'm just what I do periodically is I will put some inside the water dish I will put some orchard uh, fertilizer just some little granular pieces not a whole bunch just a tiny bit and then um, I can it will get fertilized from the watering which is kind of neat it's a different way to do it but as you can see, I've got it right in there. Whoops, you're in the way, grab it. And when I pour the water in there, it's liquefying that fertilizer. And I don't put much water in there. I just put about like a half inch. 
or so. And then as you can see, when I put this in here, it raises it up a little bit, but I don't want to do much more than that. And then I won't water it again for until this thing dries out pretty good. So what will happen is the water will dry out, but I won't immediately fill it with water again. Instead, I will let it dry out more than that because here, I'll give you an example. And this is important. This is how you keep your plants growing, guys. This one's been without water for a long time, but look how wet it is on the bottom. So I am not going to water this container until this bottom part starts to show a little bit more dry, dryness. And what that's going to do to this mame sapote is it's going to Basically, this plant is going to be like, hey, I need more water. So as this dries out from here, the roots are going to just keep going down and down and down. That is good. That's what we want with this thing. We want long roots. So we have to let it dry out so it's less frequent watering. And when we do water, we water a little bit more at a time, more in quantity. Now, another thing that I do to my plants, this is a, a blackberry. Another thing I do to, and it's looking really good, guys. Can you see this thing? So this blackberry has come alive. I'm so impressed with it. Um, it's actually a thornless blackberry. A, I'm not sure the name, Chester? Chester thornless? I'm not sure if I'm right on the name, guys. It kind of wore away, but it's doing beautifully. I'm super thrilled with it. And um, I am not watering it yet because it, look here guys, it's really, really wet down there yet. So I'm going to, and it's flourishing really well. So I don't want to stop that. Plus I put a little extra peat moss on the top here. See this dry, really dry stuff. I put that on top the other day. So it stays nice and dry on top. Same thing here, nice and dry on top, okay? Here, it's the opposite. My potatoes, I have to keep very wet and I have to change these water uh, gla glass, uh, these ball jars, I have to change it. And I have to literally kind of look at these and make sure that no mold is starting to congregate on the roots of my slips or my cuttings here. This one's brand new. This is the one I just took a little bit. So it's gonna to start to grow roots or it's gonna die. Either way, it's in water. So these are like to be in water. And these are just the slips or the, the cuttings from the sweet potatoes. Oh, I wanted to show you guys this one. I, I noticed that some sort of fungus happened on this one and I'm sad about it. There's some sort of fungus that's attacking the bottom part of my banana. And I don't know what to do, but I do know this. See this little extra side part here that's growing? I'm happy about that. Okay, so maybe, maybe this one's healing itself because what I ended up doing, I didn't spray it. I didn't do anything to this except for add a giant layer of peat moss to this and I literally stuck the peat moss to the base of my banana and then guess what well this little sprout started coming up so it's coming out this way I don't know how affected this banana was to some some kind of fungus but it has always been on this weird angle Okay, so it has always been kind of coming out this way. But I'm, so I'm hoping that it finds a way to heal itself with the dry material there that sort of protects it against like bugs, uh, gnats, anything like that might want to congregate towards that. that it, it, I call it a sore, <laughs> a little sore on my banana. But we'll see, we'll see how it does. I looked at my other one to see how it was doing, and this one is not doing that at all. This one's fine. No issues with this one. Uh, so I'm really happy, but I do try to keep a nice dry layer. This is my jalapeno pepper, and this one just got all new leaves. Look at that. Tons of new little leaves on top there. Uh, so I'm really excited to see what's going to happen with that. 
This one I haven't really looked at so much. I did transplant it. It was not in a tall pot like this. It was in a much smaller pot. Um, but it hasn't, it hasn't grown up a whole lot. And it really hasn't, it looks like bird droppings on that. I don't think we've had any birds in here. We had birds in here? You saw a bird in here? Did you see a bird in here? I didn't yet, so I don't know. But this is, I believe, an orange, an orange, let me find out. I think it's our orange, yeah. Kalamad in orange. So this one is an orange tree. And yeah, I can see this. Okay, let me show you this. Get a close-up on these. We've got several little areas here of new growth. That means it is happy. It is doing something. It's not doing as much as I would hope right now. But once we get the water going and stuff, I'm gonna feed it, um, I'm gonna feed it some citrus feed. And that should give it a nice boost to energy. Same thing over here. I have another orange tree right here. And this one gets dripped on by the banana tree. The banana tree drips on it. And I think it likes it. Now, did I forget? I forgot to put peat moss on this one. I noticed now. Hey Jennifer, I'm gonna put some color on your pegboard over here. <gasps> Check this Ooh. out. Yeah, you got to look at that. Teacher. Yeah, so basically what I did is I just cleaned this off. I wiped it down with some Windex and taped off the outlet there. Uh, I'm not going too crazy. I, I know you guys are going to be like, well, you know, you can, you can sand it down to the bare or whatever. No, we're not going there with this project. We're just going to put some color on it so it matches the rest of the plant nursery. See those beautiful oranges hues that you have uh, on the on the pegboard it looks great it's so, gorgeous so yeah i'm just going to hit this real quick with some color like i said i've already wiped it down so it's good enough for uh, what we're doing here so it should look pretty nice once i'm done you see what actually what am i using here to get this beautiful color this is gunstock uh, this is wood finish minwax wood finish penetrating stain gun stock. So cool. Nice. So that's what we're going to put on there. And I'm not worried about if it gets on uh, these, these poles too much. Yeah, it looks really nice. I love the color, very rich, very rich look here, folks. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. Once I'm finished with this, then I need to go and clean out the edges here. I don't want to put the utility sink on dirt, so I want to make sure because it's going to be there for a while, right? And so we want to put it on a nice clean surface. That will be great. Yes. Look at, I'm just using an old like a shop rag for this, right? It's a clean shop rag, but there, it's there still a shop rag. There is a smell to it. It smells good though. Does it? Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully you won't get too high off. I know, it. right? Get a little, a little loopy. It's pretty strong. Don't want to get loopy here. It's good though. Yeah. Just putting on some color. Like I said, I didn't sand this. I didn't do all that stuff. It's unnecessary for, for what we're doing here in this project. But I don't want it to run all over the place either and look drippy. That will be terrible. There we go. So I just try to get it in there really good, wipe it on there, and then go from my right to left and uh, try to make it look smooth, right? Try to get this thing looking smooth. Yeah, we're getting there. I think my pawpaw died 
My pawpaw plant. What's a pawpaw plant? It sounds, what's They're that song? Way really down yonder in the pawpaw pawpaw of... pat, pawpaw patch. Is that what that's from? That song? You ever I hear have it? no idea. I've never heard that song. Really? It's, it's like a nursery. It, it's a tropical um, fruit, and it's very delicious. Is it? Yeah. I, I haven't tried it, but yeah, that's what they say. So I want to find out if it's alive. I don't know it if it is. It doesn't look good to me. Oh, it is. It's, it's alive. It's doing a whole dormancy thing. Yeah, look at this, guys. It is alive. What the? It's alive. What about the other one? It's, it isn't letting me know it's alive. Yeah, look at this, guys. That one's alive way at the tippy top. So it's alive. It's very alive. It's just not, it's dormant, apparently. It's not doing much. Now, you guys, this is my uh, Rambuton. What is that called? Rambuton. These are those red fuzzy ball seeds, that fuzzy guys. Fuzzy thing that doesn't I even look saved, like a fruit? Yeah, I saved my fuzzy balls. <laughs> And so I want to put those in here. So I want to plant these and see if they come up. Now, I could, like I've told you guys before, sometimes when I do this, it's, it's, it's no good. Like it doesn't, it's unsuccessful, my experiments. But that's the whole point of an experiment, right? You see if you can, you can grow something that you haven't grown before. So I learned this the hard way. Always make sure you hit, wear some rubber gloves when you're using any sort of stain because it will just, it'll stain your hands, right? And then you'll have to use some uh, paint thinner or gasoline or something to get it off. But these, uh, these rubber gloves are okay. They're kind of thick, so it's hard to really have that dexterity that you'd want to grab a hold of anything with these on. But uh, if you want to get some nitrile gloves, that would work. Um, yeah. Oh, God. I can't believe I dropped my rag inside the can of stain. That's bad. That's bad, people. Now it's going to be dripping and nasty and whatever. I'll try to squeeze it out the best I can. I don't want to make a huge mess. It is making a mess. I'm making a huge mess. I'm making a huge mess, people, on the floor. Oh, boy, Troy. Look at that. That's not good. Look at that. Take a look at that. Let's see what, look at, show everybody. Show the mess that I'm making here. People want to see the mess. They want to see the train wreck. So there you go. That's, golly, I didn't want to get this all over the floor. But I am, and I did. I'm going to have to work on that. I'm having issues, people. This is not going as easy as it normally does. You see, we're having some problems here. Okay. Uh, I got to get this up. Yep. It's going to get all over my hands. I'm going to make a huge mess. It is what it is. It's not too bad. It's not horrible. It's not great either. Yep. Oh boy. So now I've got an oversaturated rag and a, a nasty glove here. But I'm going to try to do my best because I, I just want to get some color on this pegboard before I just mess it all up. So we'll, we'll do a good job. Man, this thing is oversaturated. Maybe I won't have to dunk it in the, the can of stain anymore. Let's see. And like I said, this is not the textbook way to do this, folks. This is just the, the way that I'm doing it. You can do it the way you want to do it. But I just need to put some color on this pegboard, and that's it. See how close I can get to that outlet. All right. 
That's not bad. Maybe it is the fumes, Jennifer. I know, it's really strong. I think I'm, I'm getting loopy. That's mm -hmm. why I'm just losing my mind. So if this thing looks crazy when I'm done, it's because I got really loopy and uh, I'm basically staining high. It's really, it's like, really strong. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, it's like that every time. There we go. We're almost done. And then we have to work on the floor afterward because I am making a mess. What are you doing, Jennifer? I'm trying to get a good mixture going here. Yeah. For my rambutans, my little rambuton seeds. I think those are cool. I know. I hope they're they... fuzzy. Yeah. Well, those <laughs> fuzzy red balls. Remember those fuzzy red balls? Yes, I do remember them. Those were so awesome, and they tasted fantastic, like a grape and a coconut. Yeah, they almost remind me of that mochi stuff. The texture of them, because they're kind of uh, they're rubbery. They're very rubbery. Yeah, yeah. Like a mochi. A mochi? Mochi. It's a mochi, Jennifer. Those are good. They're like the pearls and boba tea. Oh, yeah. Look at that. See, that had paint on there. So th there's like paint on here, so I'm not going to be able to get that pretty good. Like, give me a little turn, a little bit, T, so they can see this disaster over here. You can see me good? Oh, okay. So I didn't know if you guys could even see me, but you can. So right here, uh, there was some, looks like some white paint that was a, applied onto this uh, pegboard. And so it's not going to soak up the stain like these other areas will. So you, you're going to have like a light spot. But that's fine because I'm, I'm probably going to put the old, uh, oh, what is it, paper towel dispenser over the top of it. So you won't even see it later on. I'll hide my imperfections. How's that, Jennifer? Can I just hide my imperfections over here? Yeah. That'll work. You have to excuse me. I'm... <laughs> you might want to put the camera on your mom and see what's going on over there. There's, a, there's like a, a chance of disaster. She's got a sharp object. Oh. And have, has no gloves on. And we're kind of distracting her. Come on. Oh, I did it, kind of. Oh, that really wasn't what I was going for, but I guess it'll work. It's okay, Jennifer, I know first aid. Whatever I don't know, you can walk me through it. I need access to all my tools. <laughs> I think eventually they'll start migrating out this way a little bit. Mm-hmm. Has it, I mean, has it taken you a lot to get acclimated to this area, to do work in here, or what? Huh? <laughs> You're not even paying attention, Jennifer. Well, I I'm just asking, has it been hard to get acclimated to doing work in this area since you had? No, it hasn't. Okay. That's what I'm wondering. You told me you actually enjoy coming out here. Yeah. Ah. That's what I'm trying to do. Look at. Okay, I made a Where's I'm, the camera even point? is the cameraman today. He's doing pretty good. We've got a little couple challenges, but you're doing good. I made a cut. Okay, I don't have access to really good tools here. And then I did this. <laughs> I mean, it's still good drainage, right? Like, I'm just trying to get good drainage, but I'm really not thrilled with my whole thing there that I did. And I don't, I, I don't have a scissors. Ah! <laughs> Pretend uh, there was a catastrophe, some kind of uh, terrible event, and then you didn't have scissors to work with. What would you do? The same thing I'm doing. <laughs> right.
He's God. scary with box cutters. Yeah. <laughs> huh. Okay. Gosh, this is, so this is like the worst technique you've ever seen when it comes to staining anything, but it's actually kind of effective. It's looking decent. We just gotta make sure we get this stain in every area. We want decent coverage. And it doesn't matter if it gets on a little something something around here, right? We're looking for a rustic, green Texas type feel. We're not looking for these sleek industrial lines and all this kind of stuff. She's scaring me over here. I literally don't even know what's going on. You better, you better catch that on camera, because it could be a train wreck. <laughs> we'll jump into action if there is, Troy. That's what we're oh, doing. I'm just doing a terrible job. I'm not thrilled. We're fumbling away through our DIY today, Jennifer. This is going to be. Fumbling and bumbling. That's what we're doing. That's OK. But we're doing it, right? Could be sitting on our arse in the house. But nope, we're out here giving it a whirl. Actually, this goes look pretty good. So, yeah. Where is it? Oh, OK. So yeah, this one, I did the same thing. Right down here, this sort of didn't work out so good. But I'm not, like, completely. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Jennifer? Look how long I cracked this piece right through here. It's really, really bad. But. I don't think it matters. The biggest thing I'm trying to do here is have drainage that comes out of this cup. And I made a, a little bucket on my mixture, which is mostly peat moss and a little bit of organic, like potting soil type mixture. Um, and so what I'm trying to do is this. So it really doesn't matter because the goal here, the goal, the goal here is just to have a couple of areas. It would be nice if I had four of these, but I don't feel like breaking the cup completely. <laughs> so if I had some like painter's tape or. Oh, this right here? Oh, there we go. I could have done lots better. I didn't even see that. Oh, ah. I could have used this the whole time. Oh, you should just ask me. I got all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Trying to clean up some of this floor that I made a mess on. That's not bad. Up my oh, here. oh, it's pretty. Looks pretty good, right? Look yeah. At it. And uh, it kind of blends in here as you go down the uh, the pegboard wall. It looks good. This will dry. It'll look almost identical to the pegboard next to it. But it just gives it that nice, very nice, rich look. And, and it contrasts the... Uh, this, the walls, I think, right? These tin walls, I think it contrasts them very well. Cause it's like a, a bluish, greenish, grayish wall. And then you have this kind of rich brown, brownish orange pegboard. So I got some of this stain on there. Oh well, it's just gonna have to be on there. Like, there we go. Nice. We're getting things done, folks. Ooh, there you go, Jennifer. Yeah. I should have done this to begin with. Yeah. If I would have had this. I'm glad I, I thought of it when it. I did. Oh, well. So, now I can fill these. It makes me very happy. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to take a little break from the action while uh, my pegboard dries. I'm going to give Troy some audio 
I'm going to run the camera for a while. I'm going to run the camera for a while. Here, here I'm going to switch off. Ready, Troy? Okay. Okay, there you go. Get your mic up there. There. Oh. Not fuzzy. Wanna, you want to plant the seeds? Yeah, sure. I would like to actually very much. Oh, no. okay. I'm handling this one, so this is going to be my you friend. You could do it here. Yeah, right here. Okay, yeah. That's fine. Ah. Okay. Let's make a hole first. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think this would now, be Now, what good. if you don't know which way it's going to sprout up? What do you do? Um... You can't, if you've never seen one sprout up and you don't know for sure, you have to say, I don't know. Oh. So what do you do if you don't know? Um, I don't know which way it would pick. Okay, so if you don't know, you always do it sideways. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, you plant it like this in there. Okay. Or like this, or like this. But you, you don't want to plant it like this because it could sprout from that side. And you don't want to plant it like this because I mean, it could sprout from that side. I think it's going to sprout right from there, but I don't know. So that's perfect. Yeah. Just like you did it. Now you just push over the dirt. And I mean, it's just dry and moist, and that's all. It's, it's just going to be in there like that. We're going to add a teensy water, not much. So get, get your other one. Okay. Go put this one up there by the light, Troy. Go put this one up there by the light. Okay. And uh, get the other one. Let's get the other one. Let's get the other one. Mm -hmm. Delicious dirt. <laughs> ah, okay, here we have it. Make a hole. Ooh, ooh. Hey, okay, you need a close up on this. We have a uh, green yeah, starting. We have some green in here. This one's hopeful. Okay, always like normal, sideways, and then we cover it. Dump in. Make sure to not press it down or there won't be enough air. Very good. A little tap easy. Yep. And we put it over there. And we give it a little water after. We give it a little spritzer. Yep. And okay, where's uh, the spritzer? <laughs> good question. Here, where's I think I'll do it this way. That wasn't exactly what I was going for. Yeah, pretty much. I think I'd close it. Tree prep, so just basically a lot of water. And a, a hint of tree prep. Barely anything I usually don't fertilize with a tree start because I don't give it any help. When it has to start, it has to be a, I call it a hard start. I don't give it any help. It has to, it has to make its own way. And, and that's the best be way to help it count. It'll be strong. Because if you, if you always ha help it, then it wants your help and it dies. If, yeah, easily. Mm -hmm. So if you don't give it help and you leave it there, if it needs help really bad, then you have to give it a little bit of help. But when it doesn't need help, it's gonna grow big like these ones. They don't need much of help, they just need water and they grow themselves. That's right. Mm -hmm. So a rambudin. Rambadon, I don't know what you call it, but <laughs> I will tell you they're delicious. And so that's Oh, a lot of times I don't know what I'm growing. Uh, I just literally don't mark it, and then I have to, once it comes up, I'm like, oh, what did I actually plant over here? Especially in my mystery containers, my experiments. So a lot of times I'll do that, and I won't know. And then I'll. Or I'll think I planted, like I'm like, I'm sure I planted that in that spot. I know that I planted that spinach there or that kale there. And then when it comes up, it's something different. And then I'm like, oh, something different. 
Not bad. I'm glad it came up. Yeah. Okay, I'm not sure where my stuff is. Everything's everywhere, kind of. Um, yeah, you're right. Um, I think this girl was over here. Nope, I don't know where it goes. <laughs> Closing up shop. Okay, guys, let's check on my cactus so far Ooh. and all the plants in here. So here's the grand entrance. So here we have it, the plants over here. So here's the cactus right here. You can see that if you get down right here, you can see it growing. It's not getting much light, but here I'm amazed right now because look, those are new sprouts, which I love. Then if we go over here, we have this, and then you can see in that little hole, you can see some more sprouting. So that's my favorite. And then here we have some more um, kale. It's good, it's delicious. Mommy likes it in her salads. So yeah, and then we have a pineapple over here trying to start growing. I'm doing citrus feed. Most, it says it's good for mangoes too. Ooh, I gotta start using this in my mango. Mm-hmm. And I usually just dunk a tainty bit, like in the water, and it's a little hard right now without a spigot and stuff, but I'm just sprinkling just a little bit in my pot. And there's some or there's some orchard feed in there. Um, so there's just some really good helpful nutrients and minerals and stuff for for my plants in here. I already put some blueberry feed. Holy moly, it sucked up all that water already. And this one. These guys are going crazy. Just a second ago. Don't, no, don't, don't. Oh, one thing I gotta, look at me. There's certain, this is a blueberry. It gets mm -hmm. special minerals in the okay. water. So if you start mixing and matching the water, oh. you're giving different minerals that go to that plant, okay. to a different plant. So just put that back. And you, if it needs water, we'll get more water. Okay? Okay. And the same thing for this one. This is a ras this one gets raspberry feed because it's a raspberry. This one gets um This smells good though. Yes. This one gets blueberry feed. This one gets citrus feed. I think this one's a grapefruit. Yep, ruby grapefruit. So this one gets citrus, this one gets blueberry, this one gets raspberry, this one, I don't know. I think I don't give much to this. This one? I mean, it was not happy because it was. It needs water. It will be. It'll come straight up. The leaves will go. Woohoo! I'm happy. But they're sad right now. I'm sad. I don't have water. But I don't have to do hardly anything fertilizing for those. Yeah, my cactus is fine. It's growing like crazy. This thing would love a mister. Like they got in the grocery stores. Yeah. Over the produce. Exactly. And they're they set love on that. timers and they miss them every now and then. That humidity, you know, the banana loves that stuff. Yeah. Do you think that would grow mold on our walls though? We had something like that. Oh, it would be so happy. I'm just telling you right now, these guys love that. Fortunately, I'm out of water. All right, so, so how we do on this stuff, Troy? Good. <laughs> Good on a scale of one to ten, and don't don't give a rookie review. Give it a point something. Okay, I give it a nine point four. Is it because I'm just standing right here next to you, or is that how you really feel about it? I actually, that's how I really feel about it. Ooh, thank you. That's very nice. That yeah, looks pretty good. Um, it seems like it's starting to dry a little bit, so it kind of blends in with the uh, pegboard next to it. Not bad. What do you think? You think it's kind of the same color here? It's pretty close. Um, let me get a better view. 
Yeah, I think it's pretty close. Pretty close, close enough? Yeah. All right, so I think what we'll do next, we've talked about this awesome utility sink over here and what it may or may not look like. Let's spin you guys around here. I think we should probably open it up, see what's inside. What do you think? Yes, we should, actually. <laughs> I like that. You can kind of lean for it. It'll, it'll pick you up. There you go. Yeah. Okay. Good? Mm -hmm. All right. So, Jennifer, mm -hmm. I think it's about time to unbox that utility sink and take mm -hmm. a look at it. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Let's yeah. wrap it up. You want to see? I mean, it? unwrap it. She's trying to wrap the video. <laughs> Miss, I want him to do a three-hour video, whatever. It's only been like, what, and 45 minutes or an hour or so? I think it's been a lot longer than that. Has it? Yeah. Yes. Well, it just seems like it went by fast for me anyway. Yeah. I think it's been a lot longer. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we're trying to do some more of these long-form type videos. And well, see how they, oh, let's careful, see. she's got sharp well, objects. She's well, very let's dangerous. review the picture first. All right, take that out of the way. Let's move Ooh. this out of the way here. All right, Jennifer, let's see what we so got. So in reality, guys, this isn't, I mean, it's it's nice, but it's not like super special. We didn't like custom order anything. No, Jennifer, anything oh like my. That. This is the best sink that's ever been produced by a company that produces sinks. Okay. This is, hold on, hold on. Uh, this is like a magical moment. This is happy Hanukkah. This is the, this is the, the main present, you know what I mean? This is the, the most fabulous over-the-top sink that anybody's, I think it's been, it's been covered with gold leaf, if I'm not mistaken. It's really nice, but... Uh, <laughs> it doesn't have gold leaf? It's, I, mean, you, I mean, you are right in the sense that Ooh, it isn't just here. a see, regular they can see old it. utility they can sink. They can see your face. Look at it. Look at it first. is Show actually me. quite a nice, nicer sink. Than what I was going to pick out, because I was going to pick out that that uh, plastic one, the plastic I tub. No. <laughs> I mean, which is fine. A plastic tub one would have been just fine. Okay. All right. So here's here's the sink. It's, <laughs> it's not too bad. It's pretty big. Look at that thing. It's I nice. know, that is what here, I take want. take it out of here. I want to show everybody this Hold one. Hold on, try that without me. Let's take it out of there. Look at it. That's pretty good size. So you'll be able to put different pots and whatnot in here and, and do what you do out here. Where's the knife? I need the knife. In the plant nursery. I was wondering. Here. So, let's see. Okay, so we can just do this for now. And we'll set everything, or we put it back in here. I'll put it back in there. I just want to show everybody first. I we're, know. Hot, we're covering it up. Move over a little bit. Let it's everybody nice, see what's going on. It's nice, isn't it? Yeah, it, it's real nice. So, what is that? Like a, that's like a light gray. Yeah, flip it around this way a little bit. Mm -hmm. That way they can see the front. You got some doors on the front here. Yeah, it's upside There you go. So you got the doors. No, I think it's right side up. No, it's right side up. It's fine. Mm -hmm. And then we'll put the. Uh, this will be the frame. The doorknobs on there. The, yeah. Boom. So yeah, this is where our sink will go here. Yeah. And what I'll do is I'll take this and I'll butt it up against the wall. Set it up against the wall. Let's kind of put it back, push it back there a little bit. I just kind of want to see what it kind of looks like. So it's going to go in this area here. So we're going to go back here with it. That's going to be sweet. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah, I, I it's dig going it. to be uh, a the, perfect. Some of the biggest uh, challenges we're going to have with this sink here is the plumbing aspect of it. I've got to make sure the drain goes outside and, and probably make a, a leach line. I probably have to do that. And then what I need to do is to run the water from underneath uh, your counter down along the wall into the sink itself. So that those are going to be some of my major challenges. And, and hopefully it'll go well. 
It should. Uh, at the end of the day, I'll, I'll get it to work one way or the other. And here's the other parts I had to order separately. Uh-huh. So. Yes, that's part of my plumbing that I'm going to need for sure. So there is the extra drain. PVC. Yeah. So the other sink, the drain just ran outside. There was a, a hose attached to it, and it just kind of, you know, washed down the, the side of the, the plant nursery. But we're going to try to do a little bit better than that after a while. Initially, I might just have to stick it out there and let it just run out. Because it's not like we're putting chemicals and, and whatnot out there. The, this is just water and some fertilizer and compost and whatever is in the water. But anyway. I already took all the air out. Yeah. What do you think? Think that's going to be nice or what? I think it goes well. I think it's well. beautiful. I, I chose a nice color. Uh -huh. They had just white or gray, but I, I didn't want something white because even though that cabinet is white, I, with a sink and all the dirt that I'm dealing with, I thought yeah. a darker color would be better. You're correct. That's a good choice. Yeah, I think we're, we're looking pretty good. So now that is a wrap for today. But before you go, please subscribe to the channel, comment, like, share, do all those things. Interact with us. That's very important. Let us know how you guys like this video, how you like these longer format videos. Yeah. It's important to us to know these things. Come over here, Troy. People can't see you when you're wandering around. Come on over here, guy. There you go. Look at it. <laughs> there you go. Anyway, from Will. And Jenny. And Troy. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. We'll, see you well look at these guys time. are about ready to fall asleep I out here know. or some crap. I'm tired. Don't Bye. forget to like and subscribe. I already said that. Here, we, you can put it in here. All right, good job. That'll and work. Check out our merch. Check out our merch. There you go.